Ghana has been ranked as a first uh, when it comes to issues of road safety performance. Fatalities declined from 11.11% in 2013 to 8.9% last year. Ghana, however, did not perform well in areas of roadworthiness of vehicles and the use of mobile phones while driving. Ghana was ranked first among 23 countries by the Economic Commission of Africa, ECA. The report released in Addis Ababa sought to assess the extent to which African countries have implemented the African Road Safety Action Plan since its adoption in 2011. By this ranking, Ghana is recognized as fully implemented most of its commitment within the context of the National Road Safety Strategy 2011 to 2020 at the midterm. The performance was based on five pillars road safety management, mobility, vehicles, road users, and post crash response. One of the strong areas was the availability of data, which most countries did not have. However, the country did not perform well in the area of safer vehicles, seat belts, and the use of mobile phones while driving. Initially, it was DVLA officers were the ones looking at the roadworthiness. Now, a new policy has come where they brought in the private sector. They have modern equipment. So we expect that not only um, private vehicles, but even the commercial vehicles should go there. You are tested and then you know where the problem is and you go and fix it. In spite of the gains, funding remains a major drawback to attaining the set targets over the years. We do not have all the budgetary allocation that we, we request for. The amount of um, spots, let's say, for... TV or radio that you want to do because for the human being, it has to be consistently reminding the person. So if you want to do 100 sports in a quarter and you have uh, money for just 20, so you can imagine uh, the impact is not there. Ghana's road traffic crashes have, however, improved over the period. In 2013, for example, 9,200 road accidents were recorded. 12,509 casualties were recorded, with 1,898 fatalities, representing a 15.27% reduction compared to 2012. Since 2011, fatality rates continue to post declining levels from 17.94% to 14.62% in 2012 and 11.11% in 2013. Overspeeding constitutes 60% of the causes of road accidents aside tiredness and overloading. The road agencies are also bringing speed, reducing uh, measures on our road, calming measures on our road, just to help reduce uh, speeds. The, the, the problem or the challenge we are having now is that some individuals or towns and villages are doing it on their own. They are not certified by the road agencies. The commission has intensified driver education with 500,000 drivers having been schooled at the National Drivers Academy.